Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're gonna create the TikTok tour game which is one of the beginners project that I showed you in this video. I'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description so if you were interested you can check it out. Okay so let's see a preview of what we're gonna create. When I run the program first it show me a welcome message then it show me which box have which number. When I press the enter the game will be started. The opponent in this game is computer but there isn't any AI or any algorithm used in this game so all it does is take a random number and see if that location is empty and if it is it will just fill it with the uh, NX. Okay now it is my turn so I can take one then I can take uh, seven and if I take four I won the game. So it is what uh, we are going to create. So we can jump to the text editor and start coding. As you can see, I already created a function called init, and this is a function that should be run at the start of the game. I also imported randint from random to generate random number and imported sys to exit from the program. Okay, so let me explain this init function. This is a really simple function. Uh, it will print a welcome message and show which boxes have which numbers and then I added an uh, input statement so it will wait uh, for user to press enter and uh, when the user press enter it will jump to the next line where I called this computer's term function which we don't have yet but uh, we're gonna create it in a second before that I'm gonna uh, explain this board variable uh, which will be our board for this game and uh, it is a Python list which contains uh, nine uh, spaces, uh, which will be looks like uh, this, which I commented here so you can see it. Okay, so let's create this uh, computer's term function. Uh, in this function, first we have to check if is there any empty box in our uh, board, and for that we have to create another function which is called uh, board is full. Uh, what this function will do is uh, it will loop through all the uh, items in our board and uh, check if is there any empty location. And if it is, it will return false because the uh, board is not full. Otherwise, it will return true. So for item in a, a board if item is equal space it means board is not full so it will return false otherwise if we look through all items in uh, our board and didn't find any empty location it means board is full so it should return true okay back to computer's term function First, we're going to check if the uh, board is not full. And if it is not, it will do something. Otherwise, we're going to print uh, nobody won. Then uh, we're going to exit from the program. Okay, so why I printed uh, nobody won? The reason for that is because when we gonna create a, a function for a player so it will be called players term before we run this function uh, it will check if is there any winner and if it is not it will run this function so if we came so far and the board is full and uh, nobody or no no winner was found so it means nobody won Now we go back to the if statement and see what should happen if board is not full. So I'm going to create a while loop. Then I'm going to create a variable called index and I will assign it to randint08. So it will generate a random number from 0 to 8 and then it will store it to this uh, uh, variable. And why 0 to 8 is because uh, our board is a list and the first item uh, in this list is at uh, index 0 and the last one is at index uh, 8. 
Okay, then I'm gonna check if uh, the item at this index is uh, equal space. So it means it is empty. And if it is, I'm gonna assign that item to the x. And thereafter, I'm gonna call a function which is called the show the board. Then I'm gonna call another function which is called check if uh, any one won't. Then I'm gonna break the void. Okay, so let me explain these uh, two functions. Uh, we didn't create them yet, but we're gonna create them in a minute. Uh, the first function show the board uh, will display the board as its name says so and the second the function check if uh, anyone won will check if is there any winner after while loop I'm gonna call another function which is called players third so after we are done with the computers turn it is players turn okay so let's add the show the board function Here, first I'm gonna add a printer statement which will separate uh, the board from the other contents in a console. Then I'm gonna add a for loop, so for num in a range length of uh, board. So the length of board is 9 and the output of this uh, range function will be a list of uh, numbers from 0 to 8 then I'm gonna add the if statement and check if a num plus 1 is divisible by 3 and if it is it should print the item at index num and then I'm gonna add some sort of separation uh, which will separate each row from each other Okay, now let's see what these new lines that we added do. So I'm gonna start with explaining why I'm checking if num plus one is divisible by three. The reason for that is because by doing this, we can get the three rows, which is this one, this one, and this one. And why I'm adding one to the num is because num can be a number from zero to eight, but the numbers that we want is from one to nine. So if I didn't add 1 to the num, it would be 0, 1, 2, and 2 is not divisible by 3, so it doesn't work. After we checked if num plus 1 is divisible by 3, we want to print the item at index num from the board. Then we want to uh, add this separator. So if I take uh, 3 as an example, here first we want to print the item at uh, index 2 and not 3 because the list will uh, or the list start from the 0 so it would be 0 1 2 and then after we printed the item we want to print this separator so which is this one but if you look carefully you will see that uh, we don't have any separator after 9 but uh, right now we have it here in our code so we can remove it by adding another if statement and check if uh, num plus 1 is uh, not 9 so which means it is uh, 3 or 6 uh, and if it is we want to print this separator so what should happen if num plus 1 is not divisible by 3 so now I'm gonna add the else statement. So if num plus 1 is not divisible by 3, we want to print the item at index uh, num. Then I'm gonna add another parameter which is called end. By default the end is a new line. So first it will uh, print the item and it will go to the next line. But it is not what we want. Without we want to print the item and then we want to add uh, this uh, vertical line or vertical bar so now I'm gonna add this vertical bar okay so I think we are done with the show the board function 
so now we are able to display the board okay i think we can stop here and the two other functions we can do them in the next video but if you have any questions so far you can leave in comment section below so i'll try to answer them if i knew the answer so see you in the next video